Doug hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 as a drop or kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. Cause Doug loves cookies. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody, my name is Doug and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies. Coming to you once again for the second time from the Comedy Cellar at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm so excited, you guys. This is a perfect uh, day for you to be here because we've got uh, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and a piano, so they're going to do the song Shallow, and, and then Tiffany Haddish is going to be here. Bullshit! <laughs> bullshit will be here. If you like bullshit, that's going to be on the show as well. Uh, but yeah, lots of fun stuff going on in uh, Vegas this weekend. I saw the uh, Puddles Pity Party show. There's a guy over there, loves it. Uh, <laughs> saw it over at Caesars. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention other hotels while I'm here, but uh, I, I enjoyed it very much. But the guy doesn't talk, you know, he's a quiet clown. So I don't, I don't need a fucking quiet clown on the panel. <laughs> I need the loud clowns. It's Sunday, January 27th, 2019. Uh, it's enough that you guys showed up today, to be honest with you, but did you have a chance to make some name tags? In fact, you did. Look at this. And they're all in a nice cluster up front. I already saw Ron Air on uh, the internet. Very nice work there for changing that from Con Air. Stan and Deliver. All you got to do is erase the D and you're good. I like that. I like the way you did that. But these are all, you also have nice sized ones here. Nobody, except for Ready Player John or. Uh, <laughs> you guys make them big here in Vegas. I heart Chris and Bees. I've seen that before, right? No? Okay. And also, you can talk when I speak to you. You're acting like you're a fucking quiet clown. And then Kara Bears. Very nice. What does SWATS mean with an S? His last name. Your last name is SWATS? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> What's your first name? Rick. Rick SWATS. <laughs> Holy shit, stay away from her, lady. Because Rick SWATS. <laughs> all right, you guys. I know what you're all thinking. Doug is really taking advantage of legal weed in Nevada. <laughs> but I'm not so high that I would say Nevada. Ooh. Uh, but thank you guys for bringing those name tags. Doug plugs Tuesday night. That's this Tuesday, January 29th. Doug Loves Movies is back at UCB Franklin in Los Angeles. And then DLM is going to be at Hyenas in Dallas next Saturday at 420. That's February 2nd. A little pre-Super Bowl show. Uh, I'm doing stand-up and a Doug Loves Movies at the Punchline in Sacramento, September 9 and 10. Both shows at 420. And Doug Loves Movies returns to Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina on Saturday, February 16th at 420. Uh, lots of shows coming up. And for all the deets, go to DougLovesMovies.com. That's DougLovesMovies.com! Yeah! <laughs> Mrs. Swats really led that charge. She really... <laughs> she really was the, the loudest and the most ready for it. And uh, thank you for that. I brought a prize bag, and I think you guys are going to go, wow, that was a bag full of things. <laughs> he managed to get his hands on some stuff. No, there's some cool things in here. And then, you know, the usual silliness. Like the last city I was in with this show was Tacoma, Washington. So I brought you a copy of their magazine, South Sound, which I don't know. I mean, it's a city that's in the north, so I don't know what that... What's that? Exactly. And then uh, uh, a fun shirt uh, it says WM and a little smiley under it. 
It's from my friends at Weed Maps. But it's subtle, so you can wear it, you know? This next one, not so much. Here's a shirt I got at, uh, oh, where the fuck was I? I, I, I was at, uh, oh, the Emerald Cup. And somebody gave me this shirt that says, trees are dope. <laughs> yep, that they are. And uh, this was weird. I got to meet Puddles after Puddles' pity party. And he had a friend from Scandinavia, I believe it was, who brings him stuff at his shows. And he regifted it to me. And, uh, but she wrote on it, not vegan, but delicacy. Well, she, she said, but delicately, but she meant delicacy. And um, English isn't in her first language. But I have no idea what it is other than a very disgusting looking, it's like the pies from, um, uh, you know, <laughs> Sweeney Todd. It's like <laughs> one of Mrs. Todd's pie, Todd's pies. Yeah, so um, I don't know about it. It's, it's got a heart on the front of it, and it's called Blue. But Bundner Nustorte. I guess it's supposed to be like a tart or a tort. I think I'm allergic to it. Oh, wow. That sneeze went away. Okay. So, all I'm saying is that whoever wins the prize bag today, please reach out and let me know that you're alive after trying this. Because I don't, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how it stays fresh. I guess maybe it's in plastic in this inside. Or would it be more fun if I opened it and I made everybody on the panel eat some of it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do that. <laughs> oh, these are just for me. I had some uh, fudge stripe minis uh, in the green room and didn't finish them. <laughs> uh, Doug loves movie sticker and perhaps the best, finest thing, uh, the... Um, uh, pop vinyl company that makes pop vinyls, they, uh, Funko or whatever they're called, they're in uh, Tacoma, and, uh, or at least somebody involved with them is in Tacoma, so they gave me a bunch of stuff, including a, uh, a, a pop doll of Pennywise with teeth. They're very clear about that. It's the with teeth one. I guess there's another one where he has no teeth. That's better for if you want if you wanted him to blow you. <laughs> I mean, those teeth. Nobody is nobody's getting oral from that guy. And uh, all of oh, I almost put it over there. All of that stuff is in the prize bag, plus stuff brought by my three great guests because they're all here in Las Vegas. And I asked them to join us, and they said yes. Please give it up for Mark Cohen, Julia McCullough, and uh, Dan Van Kirk. <laughs> All right, let's, let's meet them individually. Starting with uh, the gentleman directly to my right, Mark Cohen is here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> every day. He's here every day. Every day, Every seven day and every o'clock. night. The uh, house MC here at the Comedy Cellar. Who here has seen a show here before where Mark was uh, hosting the show? So much uh, fun, uh, right? It's a, you're a great host and uh, adequate guest and... Uh, <laughs> Always thrilled to have you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, to his right, I think I said Julia when I introduced him. I hope no one is disappointed that the great Julia McCullough isn't here. But it's Julian McCullough, everybody! Well, Julie, Julie McCullough is a real person. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What does she do? Oh, the uh, the one that was uh, the growing pains. <laughs> yeah, the she was model. a Playboy model that well, uh, was I'm not dating. Well, I know her from growing pains. She was dating. Oh, yeah, that's less perverse. <laughs> she was dating Kirk Cameron. She was. And forced him into being reborn and uh, the Jesus freak that he is today. He. I don't blame her. I don't blame she, her. He found out she did Playboy and got her fired from the show. Yeah. Cool story. Hey, Kurt Cameron. Let's talk. Anyway, about, let's that's talk about not me. Talk about Chachi. <laughs> <laughs> we can always rely on Mark to get the references back to the '70s where no. they belong. He's a he's maybe a, an '80s reference. Right. But yeah, you're right. Growing right. Pains was shortly after that. 
Uh, what's up, Julian? You're performing here. You've been here all weekend. Yes. And yeah. is it is it, have you had a fun time doing these shows yeah, in I Vegas? Love it. I'm a I'm not a good person, so I love Vegas. <laughs> I never get sick of it. This is like my sixth week here. I'm like I'm just gonna start looking at houses. Wait, you have a residency here? I would like one. At the uh, Comedy Cellar? Yeah. I mean, that's the fun thing about this club is every time you come, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna see five comics plus Mark, and then there's, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then the other eighty percent is Julio. Yeah. <laughs> but no, they, uh, you know, they rotate people in. But every time you come by, you'll get to see people, you know, a mix of people you've seen already and haven't. I mean, I don't, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this because you all, most of you, live here and figured out this is a, this is a cool club. But oh yeah, I just realized I insulted everybody in the crowd when I said I'm not a good person and I love it here. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot you all live here. Yeah, but that's the thing. If you live here, you're probably not <laughs> not not tearing it up like you do when you come. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they got lives to lead, but but here. And joining us finally on the end, it's Mr. Dan Van Kirk DVK. Hello. Hello. What do you say, DVK? Not much, man. <laughs> I'm a great rapper. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, you, how many podcasts do you have now? Seven. No, I have three. Currently. <laughs> if you had seven, you wouldn't even be able to name them all. It's like the dwarves. <laughs> it's true. Uh, also, three? Th three still sounds like a joke answer for too many. I know. <laughs> but it's the truth. Well, just st stay there, because I have four, and I want to be the most. <laughs> I wanna, you can, you can I have, have the most. For no I've never reason. even listened to four, I don't think. <laughs> no offense. Again, I insulted everybody. No. Uh, what's going on, Dan? Where you uh, you were, you did a show here in Vegas recently over at Dive Bar? I did. It was great. Thank you for anyone and everyone who came out to that. Um, not much. Uh, Rory Scoville and I are getting ready to start taking our show Pen Pals on tour. Neat. Yeah. So on March third, we'll be. Uh, I know it's not plugs time, but we'll be doing a show in Houston. We're, we're junior grand marshals of the Mardi Gras parade in Galveston, Texas. And then the next day, we're going to do a live podcast and probably talk just about that. Will you be bumped up to a senior if that person dies or is murdered? I think. Isn't that how the succession works? I never even heard of there being a junior grand marshal at a parade. Well, we may Unless it's like a fucking kid that they trot <laughs> out. Well, we made it it's up. It's a dying child's wish to be the Grand Marshal, and they're like, we'll make you Junior Grand Marshal. Let's not get crazy. Rory the Grand I... Marshal is Ponch from Chips. We, got, we said we wanted a Grand Marshal parade, so somebody said, I can get you into a black tie event slash debutante ball on a Friday, and then the next day you can be in the Mardi Gras parade with the Grand Marshal. And Rory and I said, well, then that makes us Junior Grand Marshals. It and doesn't. We're... Well, it's gonna, because... <laughs> We're having sashes made, and we are going to wear the same tux all weekend from Friday night until we record on Sunday in Houston. So that's going to be fun. What are some of the responsibilities of the Junior Grand Marshal? I don't know, but we're going to shirk them all. <laughs> <laughs> Waving and bead tossing, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys got for the prize bag? Who wants to go first? I do. What do you got, Dan? Um, I, I wanted to buy a gift certificate uh, for the winner today to this very location, but then I started wondering, I, I don't know if they even offer that or if it's possible, so I'm just going to put the cash equivalent of that amount of gift certificate into the prize bag. Here's the thing. Promise me you'll use it here. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you comedy seller bucks. Yep. <laughs> now, they're not These are, good anywhere they else. They're not transferable. These are comedy seller bucks. CCBs. You can have these CCBs if you win today because I wanted to... Uh, I love people who come out and see live comedy, so I just wanted to promote you to come back and do more of that. So you'll have this today. You can, now, if there's two winners... This guy says he's going to put the 20 on black. No, Don't no. Don't pick his name tag, this son of a bitch. <laughs> he doesn't get how this works. If there's a tie, we'll split it. Okay. All right. What is it, 20 bucks? Yep. You get to see me. Yeah. And then they have to leave. Oh, it's 100 bucks to see the five comics? Yes, 120. 20 bucks to go. All right, it's going in the bag. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and what, do you, what do you have for us, Julian? Uh, 
Well, I promised myself that I would donate all my winnings from this weekend to the prize bag, so whoever wins owes me $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> it's a hell of a gift bag. Uh, no, I forgot, so I'm going to buy you a Comedy Cellar t-shirt. Here's why that's good. There's a couple of reasons. One, you don't have to promise to make it a Comedy Cellar t-shirt. It already fucking says it on there. Yeah. Two, you can pick your size, huh? <laughs> Come on. Usually people just bring an extra large and go, you're, you're, fuck you. But not me. We're gonna, we're gonna figure out what you are and then give you that one. Very nice. I like a customized prizes. Mm -hmm. I wish more of my guests would do that instead of bringing something cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark is, but Mark really did bring something I do, cool. I brought something cool. I think I, it's very cool. I don't know how to describe it. It's an NFC ring. Does any so you can like pay your bills at the store and stuff like that? How huh? the fucking best gift here? An NFC ring. Yeah. It, it, no. Uh, <laughs> is that right? NFC. Who, who's NFL. A, who's a computer guy? Is it NFC? Near field communication, like Bluetooth. It's like a Bluetooth, but it's in a ring. Yeah. Oh, I literally thought it was a football ring. No. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Miss. Yeah. And uh, if you're if you're a thirteen. Yeah, it's a, it's a big ass ring, and or uh, if you have a small penis. <laughs> but I mean, it, sir, please stop trying to pay for your Fritos like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, please remove. <laughs> I mean, it's just a metal ring, right? Like, why, what, do you have instructions or anything? You'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll, <laughs> Why do you think I'm fucking giving it away? Uh, you, have to download the, you have to download the app, right? If you have a, yeah, but what's the, the app called? It's, it's called the N, an NFC. Yeah. You yeah. can find it. Yeah. Okay. Doug, does use it, the ring. You Doug, gotta Doug, use the ring to find it. Though. Doug, does it fit? Does it fit you? I, I, think, I think you just have to type in mypreciousdotcom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lost. If, it if doesn't fit. It's bring, way if, too big. If I knew we could bring fake stuff, I would have just brought a ball bearing and been like, it's a... <laughs> That's it's a, a credit card, real. trust me. That's, that's real. Just gotta go to the app. I brought this comedy stool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's a weird uh, pie from, I don't even want to fuck it up and say the wrong place that it's from, but it's You have called, a pie? Or a tart, I don't know. But also, check out the difference between the picture on the box and the real thing. The heart is a lot less prominent on the real deal, but it is there, kind of. And um, I don't know what's in it. I think it's got meat in it. It looks like a meat pie. Yeah, so does anybody want to take a bite of meat pie? I'm thinking that's supposed to get cooked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Look at the box. It'll tell you what well, it is. Well, it's a pie. No, it doesn't. What do you it mean, does... look at the... It's in foreign letters and words. <laughs> well, they don't even have ovens. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah. What does it say on there? Zucar. Oh, okay. Zucar is in there. I don't know what's in there. Did we start your eating podcast? <laughs> but that is a good point. Maybe it is something okay, you're here. supposed to heat up. Spinach? I just forgot. My, my white male just took over, and I was like, give me that. I'll read it. And then realized it's totally in another language, and I have no idea what that is. Oh, I just see natra plan. It looks like meat, definitely. It looks like spinach. Yeah. You know, Doug, just throw, oh, yeah. it. Just throw it at somebody. Does it, it got a temperature? Four... Like, uh, food, prof food profile. Oh, it's a food profile. That's the same in English, kind of. It doesn't look like there's cooking and struck. There's no numbers. Did somebody here bring it? No, I got oh. it from Puddles the Clown. Fuck it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, in that case, let me have a bite. Oh, cool. It's made of children. Oh, my God. <laughs> Makes you cry. It's made of tears. <laughs> Tears and pain. I'll eat it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Are we Ex eating it? Excellent punch reference. But yeah, I don't think it should be uh, heated up. No. Okay. I mean, I it feels so. desserty. It and looks like you just eat it. Oh. It's. Oh, but so I'm not sure. It's a dessert meat. Pie. It's not vegan. I know that. <laughs> it is weird looking. 
Julian, because you're going to take a bite? That, I'll take was, a bite. If Julian it was something will take that you had to heat up, wouldn't it also be something you should be refrigerating? And they gave this gift to Puddles, like, this is just something that you can just okay. take it and do what you want with it. And did you steal it from Puddles? No, he gave it to me because oh. who wants this? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> but Does anybody... Uh, speak Zucker? Yeah. Zucor? Yeah. Does anybody speak in the Dutch? It looks more like the... It uh, smells all right. Okay. It looks like the... Look, as someone who eats what I eat, I can't be like, oh, I wouldn't eat that. What's the name of the hockey team there? <laughs> looks uh, like a, looks it's like heavy. Hockey puck. Yeah. It's really heavy. Yeah, it's, that's meat. Or okay. spinach. Yeah, just go or ahead. I need to work just out. Just take a bite out of it. Okay. Tell us what you think. For real? Okay. Yeah. Don't this is a good uh, crossover plug for my other podcast, Dining with Doug and Karen, or Dining with DNK. Dining, not dying. Well, he might be dying. I don't know. It's definitely meat. Meat. But is it good meat? That is a unrecognizable smell. <laughs> you can't do it. I have no. I'm no closer to knowing what's in this after after opening it and smelling it. I for, still have for the no listener at home, it looks like a grandma made a sloppy joe. All right, somebody, somebody take the Rona and just put 9-1 and then wait. <laughs> oh, it's a dessert! It really oh! It's a dessert! Yeah. Is it's it not good? me. Those are, some, those are some sweet nuts. Oh. <laughs> Mark, would you like some? No. I'm fucking, I'm fucking eating this. I can this tell good. Dan doesn't want any. No, I'm good. How can, really good. <laughs> what, do you want to try it? No, I don't want to try it. That's can I why, get a hazelnut coffee? That's why I started to get you guys. I'm pretty I sure. What, I wonder what John out. Wayne Gacy gives away. <laughs> I would like to see Julian eat that entire thing between now and the end of this episode. Hey. But oh, that's, that's, your that's too that's much your to gift. ask. That's it's your swag. Much, gift. That could be your gift. Just is that you a ate that piece of pizza before I got here, so I or I would have eaten this whole thing. Well, you said it was dessert. It's it's tasty enough that you eat the whole thing. I mean, I'd, like uh, for money. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're saying like to it's, get to get Dan's twenty bucks, you'd eat the whole thing. Yeah, no. yeah. It's not fit for a junior grand marshal, is uh, what you're saying. I do need something to drink. Is there anybody? No, nope. no. I think they're close. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're in a casino in Vegas in a showroom. I wonder if there are beverages anywhere. Do you want a, <laughs> do you want a water? Guess we'll never know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, whatever. You, we'll, somebody could maybe help you out with that. <laughs> No, thank you. It's, um, but do you need? It's do you not want, an emergency. <laughs> do you want alcohol? Uh, n- sure. Okay, so tell them specifically can I what have, you want. So now I have to tell them what I want. Well, hopefully somebody I, will listen. Can I have a vodka soda, please? <laughs> thank you. I don't even know if that's a. Oh, great! Thank you. Yeah, it's a doorman, but that's cool. <laughs> oh no, that's the junior grand wizard of the. That's, that's the senior. Las Vegas the senior grand wizard parade, and I just insulted them. This is fucking good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe he well, will eat it. I'm happy I'm not that even you high. like Oh, Dan's in now. Dan's trying it. Get it, dude. Right? It's I like it's, a... It, it, it's almost like a baklava. Yeah, I'd eat that. You mm. are eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you guys can fight over it later. <clears throat> Go outside with it and get attacked by birds. Ooh, that It'll is be awesome. sweet. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is somebody's favorite thing. So, it, is, it is a delicately. That's Zuc- what I say after Zucar. every time I have sex. Zucar might be sugar then, right? I point at the lady and I go, this is someone's favorite thing. <laughs> Zucar is sugar of it, right? Yeah. Because it's sweet. But Puddles puts on a great show if you get a chance to see him somewhere. <laughs> he has a residency here at Caesars for a few more shows, and then, but he travels all over the place, and it, it was a, a wonderful time. But now I have a question for each of oh, you. Thank you, Olga. I'll get it done. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, I didn't. Yeah. S- sorry. No, no, it's fine. You're hosting. I just thought that was. I just thought mine just had a baby. I thought mine just reproduced, and I get two. <laughs> How is it? Is it strong? Oh, I didn't taste it yet. You're like a. <laughs> you're like Alec Baldwin paying me to eat a steak in front of you. Um, nobody got that reference. I didn't get it. Yeah, what was that in? Alec Baldwin. Thirty Rock. He he can't eat steak anymore, so he pays. Liz Lemon, like, I don't know, 100 bucks to eat a steak, and he just watches her eat it. 
And I don't know if that's like a common thing that rich people do, but I saw it and I was like, that makes absolute sense to me. I would 100% pay someone to eat something for me. Okay. <laughs> Next reference you make, I'll just let it pass. <laughs> Hope, hope there's some listener that gets it. Um, but <laughs> it, it is strong. Yes, it's strong. All right, cool. That's good. Daniel. Yeah. What was the last movie you saw? I rewatched Hereditary. Oh. Have you seen it, Doug? Um, I did, and rewatching it's not on my schedule. <laughs> I watched it. Is it is very well done for whatever that was. But it's fucked up. That it movie. is fucked up. But Toni Collette should have been nominated for an Oscar for she her. She should have, but then, all the, uh, the, but then a lot of people would have had to sit through that movie. They, good. In that, order to, to give her that award. You know, it's, it's, it's rough, but she does a great job. She does an amazing... It's, it's a very, very good movie. It's very well made. Um, you do, I didn't think this would happen. I watched it with a uh, comedy friend of ours, Ryan Singer. And um, I didn't think that... Uh, You'd really pick up anything new watching it again, but you see a lot more of like how much Tony Collette uh, is. Well, I don't want to give anything away. Is snubbed. <laughs> yes, that's very very true. So I, I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad that I watched it again. But it is very fucked up. All right, follow that, Julian. I've been wanting I've been wanting to see it on a scale of one to ten. How scary is it? I'd, I'd give it like an eight. Wow. Yeah, yeah. on a scale of 1 to 10, how boring are the parts that aren't scary? There aren't many of those, actually. If you say so. It's over two hours long. <laughs> oh, you disagree with me? A little bit. Okay. Julian? Uh, I like Yes. Last movie you saw? I don't even want to talk about it. It was so... I haven't seen that. <laughs> but, but I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just like the worst guest ever. Yeah, I don't feel like talking about it. That just sounds like one of those titles. Lately, there's been so many titles like, D -d -d Sorry to Bother You. Yeah. Uh, will You Ever For... Can You Ever Forgive Me? I don't want to like, talk about oh, it. These are not things you should be asking the person in the box office. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they gave up on it for a while after that one, yeah. but now it's back. Phrases. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. And it's not a Western. <laughs> Shut up! Wait, that's a real title? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, anyway. was, uh, it was Joaquin Phoenix's follow-up after You Were Never Really Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, he finally made some sense when he made The Sisters Brothers. Yes. yes. Oh, I haven't seen that yet, but I have it the It's fucked up as well. I read the book. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, so A Map of the Stars or whatever, that Netflix original movie by Cronenberg. Really? Why are... Yes? I mean, that whole thing <laughs> sounds made up. Yeah. Map of the Did stars. I make that up? Fault of Our Stars? No, that's, <laughs> Not that's, Fault your, of that's our the stars. last movie you watched. Um, no, it's, uh, it's like the first choice on Netflix originals. It's got um, Julian, Julianne Moore. It's the first choice for you. Yeah, you do for realize you. that, right? What? <laughs> it's not the same for everybody. It's right next to Little Boy Blue. <laughs> yeah, so, but you liked it? That explains it? all the earnest movies that keep showing up in the front of my... <laughs> I didn't even know, I, I didn't even know he saved Christmas. <laughs> Thank God. How did he save Ernest it? Ernest goes to a different <laughs> camp? They were running out of stuff. <clears throat> uh, anyway... <laughs> Okay, it's Cronenberg, so it's creepy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And it's about a Hollywood family with a lot of money because the kid is like a Agent Cody Banks. I forgot the real kid's name. Oh. He's an Asian Cody no. Banks? No. <laughs> yeah. Frankie Munoz? Yeah, Frankie Munoz type. Where it's like he's a star of a of a ve he's a vehicle for a like a franchise, and he's really famous and ma and a millionaire, but he's like twelve, and his parents are trying to like protect that career but he's like super disturbed and it comes out that they have a, a sister that they had to get rid of because she is schizophrenic and tried to burn the house now down it sounds him. like a Cronenberg movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the so, first part not so much I'm not going to recount the plot because that's boring but it's just it, it, it's got that weird Netflix thing where it's like the lighting doesn't feel right or something you know what I mean am I crazy where like it doesn't feel like a real movie it feels like your friend made a movie <laughs> not well, not you, your friend, because your, your friend, friends actually make movies. Your friend David Cronenberg. It's like if Mark made friends made a movie. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's just like tries to be really disturbing and have a tragic ending, and it's and it's just really bizarre. And it's spo- I'll give one spoiler: a dog gets shot. So I know people okay, are now sensitive about don't that. Don't need to watch it at all. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, has anyone seen this movie? You sure it's not a Wes Anderson movie? Because that guy fucks oh, with dogs. Say he that. says I love dogs. Oh, you saw it? But he Did you fucks watch the with whole dogs. Thing? It's. It wasn't good. It was one of those movies where you're like 40% in and you're like, fuck this movie, I'm watching the whole thing. It's like daring you to stop watching it the whole time and you're like, nice try, Cronenberg. I'm sitting through this entire piece of shit. Craziest part is the 12-year-old is played by... Yeah, fuck it. Couldn't th- I was like, I'll have a name by the end of this sentence. <laughs> The 12, year old, the 12 year old is played by Christian Bale. The makeup's incredible. <laughs> he lost 40 years. <laughs> I'll just tell my producers to edit that so the funny well, one comes to first. Give, to give one credit to it, Julianne Moore is amazing in it. And it's so weird when an actor is amazing in an otherwise terrible movie. You mean like Hereditary? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see it. Uh, yeah. No, it's, uh, that, that does happen. And, you know, I'm glad you watched the whole thing. Good yeah. for you. Mm hmm. Mark? Actually, today I watched the movie. Are you supposed to do the last movie you watched? Yeah. Get Hard. Uh, I have no idea how I ended up there. But Will Ferrell Will and... Will Ferrell uh, and... Uh, the, oh. Uh, the Kevin, Hart. Kevin, Kevin Hart. Kevin James. No, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. <laughs> Kevin Hart. <laughs> Kevin James. I like the scene where Kevin James is playing all the different thugs on the... Kevin uh, Hart. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like it reminds. What's the other movie that's like a? Rip, I mean, it's from a ripoff of everything, but right, yeah, it was a little too similar to something else, but it was also like you know, cool hand Luke. Everyone's sort of over the the humor of oh, he's going to prison, so he's going to get ass raped. Like that's the that's the joke of the movie. That's yeah, just right. the one joke they repeat over and over. Pounding, again. pounding the fist into the hand. <laughs> but it does it does have some funny parts. Of the, and uh, everything uh, ends up all right too. Yeah. yeah, everything ends up perfectly. Yeah, happy. that rich Nobody. asshole doesn't end up. Oh wait. Oh, and he almost blows somebody. That was the right word. after shooting a dog. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do now. When I think a movie's bad and you guys shouldn't see it, I'm just gonna say a dog dies in it, and a lot of people just dip right there. <laughs> Four paws. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I got a new thing I want to do. It's newish. We've done it a few times, and uh, it's a pre-game game, so it doesn't really. Doesn't matter how you guys do. So we're about to have pre-fun. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah, this is the fun before the the game fun, and uh, you guys uh, listen to the show maybe or whatever. It's called first impressions, and the idea is that uh, each of you, I'm gonna count down from there. I'm gonna go three, two, one, and each of you name an easily, not necessarily easy, just but an interesting voiced celebrity. Could be somebody that's already in your repertoire, but it could also just be. Just name somebody randomly, and then we'll see what happens. Because then all four of us are going to try to do uh, very short impressions. One word or a sound, and, and sometimes with a setup. You know, like, like my classic. <laughs> Christopher Walken finding out his flight has been delayed. Why? <laughs> it's that easy. Oh. It's that easy to do impressions we sometimes. Have to come up, we have to come up with a setup, too? <laughs> Doug, if you, if heard, you think of one, yeah. Have you heard my Christopher Walken uh, show, The Walking Dead? And he's a zombie that just goes, brains. <laughs> <laughs> brains. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly it. So. Uh, well, that's mine now. No. I'm doing on this no, show. you got to you oh, yeah, do more. I, I burned it? We edited it. The idea is to push ourselves to do impressions because, you know, <laughs> it just takes somebody pointing out the, that sound that yeah. somebody makes and you go, oh, now I know how to do it. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like Becky Robinson taught me how to do, uh, what's her name from, uh, I, I always can't think of her name, uh, Jennifer Coolidge from the uh, Pretty in Pink movies. Oh, yeah. And the, the great Christopher Guest movies. Uh, how, do you, how do you do it? It's just this easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. That's great, Doug. All I had to do was hear somebody do that. (laughs) So, ready? You each got one in mind? Yep. And say it at the same time, and we'll we'll sort it out. Three, two, one. Sam Elliott. Okay, we got Christopher Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Kool-Aid man. The Kool-Aid man. (laughs) Doesn't he just just say one thing? Yeah, he just says, oh, yeah. (laughs) 
Do him at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Your flight's been delayed. Oh! And what was yours, Dan? Sam Elliott. Oh, oh that's beautiful, because... Is that Sam Elliott on his shirt? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's Ric Flair, brother. Oh. <laughs> is that true? But Sam Elliott in... Uh, or rather, Bradley Cooper in Star Wars Born, to me, is he's just like, well, I want to sound like Sam Elliott in this movie, so I might as well just hire him to be in the movie right. and then just do an impression of him to his own fucking face. He really, and that's really what he did. <laughs> yeah. It is legitimately what he was Isn't trying he to do. Is he doing Eddie Vedder or something, supposedly? No, he's doing that's Sam I Elliott. Well, I heard he was ready was yeah. doing Eddie Vedder. He's just very Sam Elliott sounding. I'll do a real one. What do you mean? You want to change I'm your Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid man? Kool-Aid change from Kool-Aid man? He's not a real actor. Oh. I'm taking the Kool-Aid man then. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm changing. Want... I'm changing from Christmas. This is I'm one of my favorite about the challenge. This is one Kool-Aid of my favorite man. things in life when a comedian bails on a bit. What? I, I, no, I love I did, it. I already did the bit. The I know, bit I know, but now you're like, I'm not really doing. Kind of, I don't want to go all the way to the wall with this. No, or bust through it. Yeah, <laughs> come on, that's fuck. <laughs> that's fucking gold. Do Cronenberg. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll do. Uh, that Anthony is messed Hopkins. up to say you're gonna do a impression of him right in front of a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> People really do want you to smash through it. <laughs> no, I'll do Anthony Hopkins. Oh, that's oh, this isn't real brick. Okay, okay. so uh, Anthony Hopkins. Oh yeah. That's and uh, what was yours, Dan? Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. All right. So has anybody got uh, any one of those? What yeah, was yours? I've got it. I thought we were supposed Christopher to do something Lloyd. that made a noise was the thing. Yeah, he no, does, he does good. make good yeah, noises, good. so that is a good one. This is um, uh, Christopher Lloyd <laughs> being told after he hears that he has dementia. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Wait, do we have to take turns or can we just go? Yeah, yeah we don't have to go in order. <laughs> okay. uh, this, this is... Uh, Sam Elliott being asked how he feels about no one showing up to his birthday party. I'm sad. I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad. I can almost see the giant mustache. Yeah. yeah. I'm sad. I just get lost in that thing. But it almost uh. hurts. <laughs> It's just half yawn. I'm hurting right now. I'm sad. It's hypnotic. I'm sad. You got one, Mark? Oh, uh, I'll do uh, Christopher Lloyd in a musical. Oh, I love it. I've never done it. Uh, okay, L-A, H-O. I couldn't spell Oklahoma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. What's up, okay. What's up, okay. 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 H-A. H-A. Hey, hey. No, it's a, what is that? H-A, okay. Okay. No. okay. It's, it's perfect. Okay. That's, Chris, that's Christopher that's, Lloyd with uh, dementia no. trying to do Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> but Marcus, for a long time, I have known you are, uh, you do very quick impressions of some people. Like, uh-huh. what, like uh, what was, what's your Elvis <laughs> one? <laughs> uh I, I, you know what I, I do? Uh, I do. Do fucking Elvis. I right, just asked right. you. Elvis, you know the bit. Elvis Presley as a premature ejaculator. <laughs> Thank God it's a, a physical thing. Oh, bit. you have to stand yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a one. Oh, Jesus. All right, there it is, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All over my blue suede shoes. Because I love it. It would, be, it would be funny, too, if you got to two. You know, like, <laughs> oh, you just, shit. You just really wrap it up quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, because also, uh, can I do the setup and then you just do it? Sure, all right. <laughs> uh, Robert De Niro uh, <laughs> is your, what is he? Is a, uh, you name it. I'll as a lamb? Something. As, as, a, as a shepherd? As a shepherd. No, but what's the one you oh, always a little do? Ju- a little Jewish boy? A little Jewish boy. De Niro's a little Jewish boy. <laughs> Jew caught my pee-pee. <laughs> all right, thank you for all the people that... Know. If you're listening at home, he did I, the face, The too. face is I really did, what did, you need to Robert see. Robert De Niro is Hitler. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Joe. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Very proud. You, Joe. Juden. All right, which one haven't we done yet? Did we not do one? We haven't done Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yeah. Well, it, 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 really, he's just an accomplished uh, actor and, and sophisticated guy. So you got to just do a perfect British accent, basically. <laughs> so uh, Anthony Hopkins, right? Hello! Fucking, that was eerie. (laughs) 
This is this is Anthony Hopkins eating soup. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got one. Christopher Lloyd after taking a sip of Dewar's. <laughs> Great scotch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal I do, that one. I do Sean, Sean Connery <laughs> singing Marcy Playground. I smell sex and candy. Oh. <laughs> That's the Chicago way. <laughs> Chicago way. That's the Chicago way. All right, and finally, this is Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> well, as a little Jewish boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do with Kool-Aid Man, but that was that was a fun round of first impressions, you yeah. guys. Nice work. It's over. And I got another five minutes tonight. Yeah, he added some more uh, bits. Some more impressions. We're all going to do the great scotch joke. Great scotch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great scotch! <laughs> <laughs> they should just do that ad. <laughs> Why don't we, I got one. Why don't we do the impression and they guess who it was and the setup. Oh! oh. How's that for a fucking twist? Who's they? Well, I don't know. <laughs> if there were people here. <laughs> you talk. Who's they? <laughs> How stoned are you? A, is there people here? No, I just meant I don't want to open oh, a know, response up to the entire audience. <laughs> They're not Although this is a pretty chill this crowd. This is a crowd. Yeah, yeah this is a good, mm-hmm. you this guys are chill. great. You're the best. <laughs> How about the only people that get to guess are those two guys that have definitely been to prison? (laughs) Oh, that's interesting. Only one of them looked over his shoulder. (laughs) (laughs) So that's the guy that went to prison. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so do you have one that people can guess? I mean, the rest of us on stage could guess after you do it. Oh, yeah. (laughs) All right. Oh, yeah, that's probably better. (laughs) All right. I've been podcasting for 42 years. Yeah. Really? I know you got another one. Oh, all right. I know you got another uh, one. I read the news today. Oh, boy. Oh, that's uh, Bing Crosby singing A Day in the Life by the Beatles. <laughs> good. And oh, I, oh, bo- bo- boy. Now my, cha- my Chachi <laughs> impression. <laughs> What's Chachi's real name? I can't think of uh, oh, Scott Mr. Bio. Chachi. Scott Bio. Mr. Chachi. Uh, brains. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. See we've, how good uh, that would have been, though. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, I yeah. Held it. Yeah. Hold oh well. <laughs> but now's the part of the show uh, where I tell Bert Kreischer to turn it off because I'm gonna say, "Let the games begin." <laughs> yeah, baby. He doesn't like the game part. I love the game part. That's what we're here for. Eighty percent of it. Uh, we got somebody wow, already. Great. Somebody's already appealing to Dan's sense of uh, loyalty or something by yelling out she's well, a big fan. Well, I mean, I already went after prison guy. What? You probably have a name. What's your name? What's your name, prison guy? It's Stan. Stan. It's Stan and Deliver. And he definitely. The movie about people. Made me a wonderful poster with my. All right. Well, yeah. Go, my, go, yeah. go, go. Select your posters. Dan chose the lady that just straight up said, "I'm a big fan." Dan. No, that's what she said out loud to him a minute ago while you were sitting here next to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> she also helped us. She also helped us figure out how that weird ass ring worked. So, uh, yeah, she did. Uh, so, who is he, What's her name, Dan? I don't know. Tony. What's your name? Mom, Tony Python and the Holy Grail. And that's it. What? A lot of glitter. And that's why you picked it, because she just told you to pick it? I just wanted to be nice. You'd be a terrible Price is Right model. Well, I got the looks. Yeah, no, that's true. Who are you playing for, Julian? I am playing for, uh, he made a poster for Stan and Deliver. Uh Uh-huh. From the movie uh, Stand By Me. I like how... (laughs) I would have taken it. That was true. Yeah, you could have gone stand by me. You'd have gotten picked automatically by me had you gone that route. And uh, he, he, it's an amazing poster. Uh, he used my image from when my Comedy Central record that I never put out. Uh, and then he, it says, terrific, tremendously gripping and compelling, more exciting than La Baba. Benson gives a wonderful performance. So you're good in it. Oh. Yeah. I, I mean, I look super sketchy in that picture. La Baba, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Good job. What do you got, Mark? Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, 
This, but you know what? This is pretty cool. It says Ron Air, and it's got all our pictures. It's got Doug and Schmug and Schmook and me with the long hair. But you know what's weird? You mentioned uh, Ponch before, uh -huh. and Eric Estrada is on here <laughs> for no reason, right? Why would you put Eric Estrada? He's not in the real Con Air. That is weird. It is weird, right? That he changed that, yeah. yeah. Isn't, this, isn't the saying coincidence isn't chance, it's God giving you a high five or some shit like that? <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> and did you usually just leave Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle on there? Or did you change him to somebody else? No, that's me. No, that's Leo Flowers, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're they the, changed it to Bill Cosby. The, Poor choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good job, Ron. Yeah, that's a nice Ron. And yeah, we'll uh, talk to you again later for reasons we'll find out soon. <laughs> Good old Ron. We're yeah. gonna start with a game. How are we doing on time, by the way? Stan used real foam Not core. Great. What? Stan used real foam core. This is really nice. I wish more of the guests would get into the details of the, <laughs> of, of the craftsmanship. Because I, because I legit do get messages from people sometimes. Hey, I'm coming to your show. What's all this name tag business about? I'm like. You, you listen to the show and you can't figure that out? They're like, <laughs> they're like no, what are the, what, what's happening? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, man. I thought it seems, sounds fairly clear to me. Uh, let's play How Long Is It? Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to name a thing. You guys each get to guess how long it is. Okay. Closest, <laughs> closest without going over wins. All right. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, the thing we're going to play with today, that's, that doesn't sound right. The, hmm. I, I guess we find out the... Last time I played, I got it exactly right. It was, the question was, how long was Tom Hanks stuck on that island? Oh. oh I see. Cast away. How long was it? Four years. That's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's too long. It is very long. Welcome back to Long Talk yeah, with he, uh, he, he might have, Julian. He might, have, he might have missed out on an entire presidency. <laughs> like for the rest of his life. Yeah, I don't know that president. <laughs> I was on an island skating. <laughs> yeah, skating. I, it's a reference to the I, ice skate that floats up on the beach and then he uses it to fix his teeth. That guy was really resourceful. Very resourceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to see a movie called Castaway. It's about some asshole who just dies after two days. <laughs> and then the, cr the rescue ship comes on day three. <laughs> he died already? No, it, it, no it, it, pulls in, it pulls in as he's dying. Yeah. It's a real, real weird ending. <laughs> into the, did you just sing into the shallow? If, you, if a guy was, or a woman was suicidal and landed on a deserted island, would they just let it go? Like, no. right? I thought you were trying to make a Frozen reference. <laughs> well, I kind of did. <laughs> For some reason, I think it'd be really fun to do that with a goth kid. I think a goth kid getting stranded on a desert island. Because it's hard to be depressed and yeah. sad and survive. Yeah, and you can't stay in those black clothes because it's just too hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, how committed just are you? Sweaty. Are you still goth when no one's looking? Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's, I thought you said go golf kid. No, there's, there's golf kid, club. yeah. Does he have his club? <laughs> there's plenty of food upset? with the golf kids. Just like, fuck, get away. I don't want food. Leave me alone. <laughs> he just, he spells leave me alone in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, yeah. I love this black beach. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, uh, how long is it? <laughs> this time it's how long is Tom Hanks' co-star in The Money Pit, Shelley Long. So what we're looking for here, <laughs> what we're looking for here, according to some website, I found out how tall she is. Okay. How tall is Shelley Long? We'll start with Mark. Uh, just... Guess how tall you think Shelley Long is? Five four. Okay. What do you think, Julian? Five seven. Wow, you guys are really hitting the numbers that seem about right, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Shelly Long is five feet five inches. Oh, oh, threads the needle. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm confused. What'd you say, Mark? What's the right? Don't answer? change it. Five four. Okay, Julian. Five seven. Seven, and Dan goes five five. 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 Mm-hmm. Five, so you gotta go five six. Well, he what? knows the answer. Oh, you know the answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some of these games, some of these games would take a long time if he uh, didn't. This. This dessert pie is really getting to me. <laughs> what if what if it had weed in it and they didn't? It wasn't on the. It was oh no, it's language. on there. It says it. We just oh, can't read. Oh, that's why all the writing is in green. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Um, I, I mean, is it okay if I bring Shelly Long out here and we measure her? Yeah. Oh my God, is that true? That would be weird, right? Ladies and gentlemen, well, we are in Vegas. It's like kind of possible, right? I'd be like, Shelly Long, get up here. <laughs> in the Shelly 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 Long. I didn't get it. Just a combination of cultural references. <laughs> oh, I should say, you guys know Bradley Cooper was on stage with Gaga last oh, night, right? Oh, I didn't right? see that Gaga. Yeah, that really happened. That's why I said he was going to be on this show. But instead, we have a raccoon. <laughs> All right, so we have five four, five five. No, I yeah, he five. I'm five. You're seven. still doing Christopher Walken. Five 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 five. five, five. I, it's a good guess. Um, and then five six. Five no, seven. I'm five, five seven. Because the answer is five six. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Yeah, the answer is five six. So Dan is our winner. Thank what? you. Great job, right, no, he, Dan. Oh, he didn't go over. Did he just Jedi mind trick you? He just no. goes, well, the answer is 5-6, and you said, the answer is 5-6. <laughs> no, it is. It says 5-6. All right. Do you guys want to guess Tom Hanks' height? Oh, f- I'm going with 5-4 again. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks is 6-2. Oh, Tom Hanks. Is I he? thought you meant the Tom Cruise. 5-11. I'm going to change. Tom Hanks is 5-11. Can I change? Because I Colin, really thought it was Tom Cruise. Colin's really tall. <laughs> Tom I'm Hanks really is five, yeah, but Rita Wilson. five ten and a half. I said five eleven. You're gonna guess five ten and a half. That's I said right. five eleven. Sleep. You're That's terrible you at got, this. No, you go. You would have could have went over. Did yeah, but so could is right rules. <laughs> is the price is right? No, no, it you, is. Julian, Julian, you don't is, get sucked in. You got it right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. What is it again? I mean, this doesn't he said mean six anything. Two, which is ridiculous. Yeah, I know Peter Scolari's height. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his name? Is that his name? Peter's dead. Oh, is that the other bosom buddy? It's the bosom buddy, yeah. <laughs> what are you, 6263, Julian? <laughs> I don't care what they say, this is my height. Six foot, two <laughs> inches tall. Uh, All right, what is it again? What did you guys say? Six two. I, six two. I said six one. Uh huh. Oh, you said six one? I think six. I said six two. <laughs> no, he's changed. He said two. six two. Six two. Okay. He said six two. He said five eleven. I said five eleven. And I said five ten and a half for some stupid. I said five eleven because Tom Hanks is everyone's dad, and my dad is five eleven, so he's oh, got to okay. be. Okay. I got How tall are you, you, Julian? Yeah. How tall are you? Six one. Oh. And what did you say, Mark? Five, five four. ten and a half. Oh, five ten and a half. Wait, and you're. So you said 5'11"? I said 5'11". All right, you win, Julian. Yay! He's, he's six feet tall. Oh. <laughs> I said... F- he probably got up in his tippy toes. He should have bet a they, dollar. They, he should have went 5'11 and a half. Yeah. yeah. Should have went the other way. All right, so, but who really won that game? Who won the first round? Dan? I did, yep. Dan is our winner. Dan gets to go first in the next game. <laughs> oh, shit. And it's a little something that we like to call Last Man Stanton. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This is for all the marbs today. This is going to be whoever wins this, uh, the person they're playing for is going to go home with this bag of stuff. Wait, this is it? We're done? I mean, we have a whole game to play. Okay. And <laughs> I have abandonment that's issues. Like a guy, that's like a guy walking around in the field during the fourth quarter. So we're done? <laughs> Do we have to play this one as well? Weren't those three really enough? Or, or you mean you're, you're sad? You wanted I'm to, sad. You wanted to keep going. I thought that we were going to do a lot more, but I guess... Well, if we have more time at the end, we can uh, you know, play a little okay. something. But I made, a, I made a bad judgment call and cut the first game because it felt like it would take too long to do. Mm-hmm. And so now here we are. Okay. 
<laughs> you could probably put it it's again. A little behind the scenes action. No, I really can't put it back in oh, again. Really? I mean, unless we have a lot of time at oh, the end, okay. you know. But uh, they run a tight ship here at the Comedy Cellar. They've got a 7 o'clock show tonight. So we no, have don't to, worry about it. We so we have to be out of here by 8. <laughs> <laughs> Is they, I, you guys, so far, he's put 20 bucks in. He's, he's giving away a t-shirt. and uh, We could just have this still going while I do my set on the first show. Nobody would know. And in the background, you guys are still here. I would love that. <laughs> I'm guessing your set oh. opens with, Oh, yeah! Ha, <laughs> 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 Oh, ha, Brains! Brains! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the... <laughs> You bark, oh. do, bark, dude. De Niro is a zombie. Wait, Christopher Lloyd is a Jew. <laughs> Hi, vey. Hi, vey. <laughs> Why does it always have to be as a Jew that's with only, you? That's the only thing Why? I know. I know two things. Jewish and getting high. All my jokes are fucking oh. about Jews getting high. Who's the most famous Jewish stoner? You. I'm not a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> famous Jewish stoner? Sammy Davis Jr. He was no Robert Mitchum. <laughs> no, I think he did coke. Robert Mitchum. Ro- Robert Mitchum did uh, alcohol. Was... To- Tony <laughs> did Bennett. Alcohol. Tony Bennett. What are these real Jews? No. Uh, that's I, a game. I gotta listen that's to those Adam Sandler songs are these again. Real Jews? <laughs> oh, Seth Rogen. It's gotta be. Oh, Seth oh Rogen. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. You win nothing. Oh. In that case, I'll go with uh, Arthur Fonzarelli. And not to not to blow up his spot, but if Mark were more famous, it would be I would Mark. Be, it would be him. Yeah, yeah, he'd be the most. Famous. I quit smoking actually. Uh, what? At two o'clock this afternoon. Oh, <laughs> when are you going to start up again? At uh, five o'clock. Okay. Well, that's past, but you know, you, your intentions were good. <laughs> Doug, be honest, is this the best Doug Loves Movies you've ever done? It's definitely top 400. <laughs> <laughs> and there's thousands of them, so it's really quite, a, quite yeah. an honor. Yeah. take it. You got thousands? No, I'm having a great time. Yeah, it's been going for like 12 years or wow. so. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> there's only a few I regret. <laughs> We're gonna, you're going to work the kinks out. So. But generally, I don't know until the end. <laughs> so this might be one of them. But uh, we're going to play Last Man Stanton. I go to audience members for help on this uh, because I like, to, uh, I like to play along. So that's why we need the time for this game because it, it takes a little while. Yeah. Uh, it's the game where we take turns naming people, uh, naming movies that a certain person was in. Mm-hmm. So I'll get a name from an audience member. And we'll all decide if we want to use that name because sometimes people are like, you know, just give us a ridiculous name that is none of us know what they were in. You know, like... Um, Last time it was two names for some reason. Well, I add another name when their first name sucks. Oh. oh. We had three names right. in Vegas last time? Yeah, it was too much. Wait, how long have you guys been out of prison? <laughs> 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 hey, hey. Ron? <laughs> That's my guy. You knew his name was Ron from the name tag. All right, so... <laughs> um, what was I... Uh, you're gonna. What's you're gonna hosting happen? a podcast. You're gonna get a name. From oh, we're people. gonna get a name from somebody. <laughs> you were getting sleepy. This is called Douglas Movies. First, you walk out. Then, where is music comedy tweet? Where's he at? There you are. How's it going, dude? Uh, what's your name? Jeff. Jeff. And um, you uh, reached out to me. Uh, you and I were going back and forth about uh, puddles. Right, Puddles Pity Party. He wrote to me on Twitter. He goes, "Hey, do you want to go with me to see Puddles Pity Party tomorrow night?" And you know, I just wrote back on Twitter, "No." <laughs> and <laughs> but he tagged Puddles the Clown in it, so that got his attention. <laughs> and then Puddles invited me to the show, and I went, and I didn't take this guy because <laughs> I have a girlfriend, but. Uh, but we had a lovely time, and thank you for the recommendation. And we met Puddles, and he gave us his shit pie. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you were here when we were talking about At that. At the very least, Jeff should get a bite of this fucking pie. Oh yeah, do you want a bite of the pie? <laughs> it's pretty yeah. yummy. It's really gross, I'm guessing. Take it. But maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, they did like it. It is good. Yeah. The Let's blood, the blood in the body, broken for you. 
Hey, Dan, let him talk into a mic. Tell us what he thinks. Come over here. It, it's good. I, I don't think I could express what it tastes like. But it's better than you think it's going to be. It's adequate. <laughs> See? It's That's, like hanging out with Doug. Yeah. <laughs> it's the ti title of this episode. <laughs> we made it up to him, Doug. Yeah. And, but definitely, you know, I hope you go to see Puddles on your own, because that was the funny part. Oh, you did go? Oh, okay. Why'd you say, oh, because it was sold out Thursday night? You said, at one point you told me, oh, I couldn't get in because it was sold out. Oh, you stub hubbed it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Christopher Walken saying Say it in your microphone, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Is that Rickles? <laughs> Use your mic, hockey puck. Hey, hey look at the guy. Guy, with his, guy over there with his robe open. Wah. <laughs> Don, Don my wife's over there signaling ships. Yeah. Don Rickles has a vampire. <laughs> Say, I'm going to suck your blood. Oh, no, that's Don Rickles. That's fucking Edward G. Yeah. Robinson. <laughs> that's the, every gangster from the 30s? I always know it's time to wrap up the show when Mark Cohen's references Edward go Dick. decades and decades <laughs> earlier. Yeah. Now we're, did, now we're in the 40s. You did do a punch reference right I after did. you gave that's me the shit, the 70s, though. not He's the gonna, 40s. What do you think Chachi was? The 80s, 70s. so you were before me. He's oh, going to start doing point. silent film references pretty soon. And <laughs> hey, did you see the Battleship Potemkin yet? <laughs> First of all, it's just Battleship Potemkin, and oh. I couldn't get through it. <laughs> How long is it? It's like six Neither minutes. could yeah. the Russians. I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't, I don't know what short, happens. It's short. It's short. That it, was a joke. How short is it? This isn't, uh, this isn't a room full of film students. I know. And nobody, not one Battleship think, Potemkin reference. Yeah, nobody hmm. loved it. Hmm. Maybe it's because everybody hated the movie Battleship with Rihanna. Oh, I, so, oh, I, ready? One more? Carol Channing singing Rihanna? Oh, I like it. Shine bright like a diamond, Zara. <laughs> <Carol's best friend. laughs> See, now I, That's my last I can do that now. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. Rest in peace, Carol. <laughs> wow, did she just give her own eulogy? <laughs> We should just do this to each other. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to drag it on. You are. To it. <laughs> can you do, I, Mark, can you do Carol Channing in Goodfellas yelling at Karen? What? Why do I fucking make you laugh? <laughs> I guess, I, I no, that was all the money we had. Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. What if Carol Channing oh. were Joe Pesci in Goodfellas? <laughs> Am I a clown to you? <laughs> the one make you laugh. Am I a clown? <laughs> No, Carol, he, Carol, he, Carol, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it, he didn't mean it like that. I mean, think he thinks I'm a clown. No, that's not what he said. He's trying to be a I'm nice gonna guy. I'm going to murder this motherfucker. No, 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 no. no. You're not even a He's just saying, the way you tell the story, Carol, the way you tell the story, it's funny. It's funny the way you tell it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. I read girl's Diamond. Best diamond. It's fun just to say diamond it's in her voice. Diamond. All right. All right. What's happening? In the shallow. Jesus. <laughs> in the shallow. La, la, <laughs> they don't even see modern movies. Shallow. La, 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 They only listen to the, your podcast. They don't go to movies. But tell everybody how mad you are at the a song Shallow. <laughs> I'm pissed the way they break up the word fucking shallow. What who? Shallow. La, la, la. It's like, what the fuck? Sh Where would you break it up? Sh 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 I wouldn't shell a la 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 in there. They go to a little, it's fucking too much. Yeah, do an ow wow wow at the end. Shaw wow wow. Shaw wow 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 God. One side of the stage is so much higher than the other. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm sad. Hey, what was your name again, Ron? Jeff? <laughs> what? That, it's Jeff. His name's what? Jeff. What was your name, Ron? Jeff? Jeff. Yeah. I figured it out as I was oh. saying it wrong. That's Ron. Ron's over there, and that's Jeff. That's 0437. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I know the difference between Ron and right. So, the great right? part is everyone in this room gets to say they were here for this. <laughs> it's going to be a four minute episode. <laughs> We were, there, we were there the afternoon the club closed. So, <laughs> what happened? 
So, Jeff, uh, what's your suggestion today for Last Man Stanton? Kevin Costner. Kevin oh. Costner. Great suggestion. Oh. A little inside reference between me and him and Puddles because uh, Puddles the Clown loves Kevin Costner. And uh, if you go see his show, you'll find out how much. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's a pretty good one. It, is, guys, a, it, is, it is. Are you guys satisfied with that? Or would yeah, you I like, like Kevin Costner. Yeah. I mean, hey, remember when I was sad the show was so short? <laughs> you, mean, you mean that was was that when you wait. still had liquid in your drink? <laughs> you mean remember when you were sad? Yeah. <laughs> the dog bites. Bad, bad Sam Elliott. All right, so <laughs> I try it. I try it. I can't go Sam, Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott do doing self asphyxiation. Everything you do, you just start with them. Mm, you just start down here. Mm. Listen, listen to That's me. Sam Elliott on his shit. Mm. It's written it's listen, Rick Flair. Listen, listen to me, baby. With Bob Seger. Baby, bro. You, you stole my voice. You need to, you need to you s- took my damn never voice. About you, gotta, you gotta slow your roll. Mm. It's baby, down bro. Here. Okay, Get out of that. my face. <laughs> You could say it. You don't have to whisper it in my ear. I can't do it. I don't know what he sounds like. Butter Mark, my you roll. <laughs> you, can't, you can't test your jokes without a mic first. Hey, uh, and then do them. Uh, mm, there's, no, there's no safety net in podcasting. I need you to, right, so need you to butter my roll. What? I'm just trying to say butter my roll. <laughs> do it. Butter my roll. <laughs> Everybody's got a butter roll. In the shallows. Did, did you write that song yourself? Mm. I thought of it while I was on the bike. Maybe you should write it down. He really, when he remembers the song she hummed to him in a parking lot and orchestrates it and uh, makes her do it in front of an audience, he's he's not drinking all the time. <laughs> that's not a that's not a blackout drunk guy that remembers the song she hummed to him briefly. Yeah, that's work ethic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you haven't seen it? Oh, Mark hasn't seen it. Jeez. And he doesn't want to be on the record about it because he's hold, holding either. his microphone down there like his Star dick is going to do the talking. I saw Stars. I saw Stars. But oh, he did see a Stars part. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I told you why I was upset with it? Yeah, First but I thought Shalala. you were upset with the song. And, and you the could other, be upset with the song without seeing the movie. Can I, can I, I mean, the movie's like 50 years old or 60 years old, right? No, there's been a bunch of them. But the same thing happens. I, it won't wreck the uh, movie. Roughly the same thing happens, yeah. Yeah. So Kevin Costner then? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing Kevin Costner. Oh, shit, we're out of time. Oh, but uh, everybody. everybody loves plugs. <laughs> I'll decide whose plugs are the best, and that'll be the winner. No, films of Kevin Costner. Dan, start us off. Then we'll go to Julian, who's already IMDb and Kevin oh. Costner. And, uh, and then uh, Mark, and, right? And me. Mm-hmm. And then back around to Dan. And we'll see. I think this is going to be a good one. I think I, I think I can name almost every Kevin Costner movie. What? That's sad. so we'll see. Oh, and you each I have one you. you each have one lifeline. You can oh, go yeah. to the person whose name tag you chose. Oh, okay. You can go to them once. I recommend going early and not often. I can tell because you can Stan only go once. Knows the entire repertoire. I wish I had picked Jeff now. Well you know what? Kevin Costner is the most watched actor in prisons. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're a, be- you're a beard. Who conducted you're that a beardist. Poll? <laughs> Are you ready for me? Are you ready? Yep. For ready. it? Yep. Go, Dan. Dances with wolves. Oh. Who who said that? Dances with wolves. Was that Sam Elliott saying it? He did say it. <laughs> Dances with wolves. He turned down Prancer. Okay. <laughs> Solid Sam Elliott movie, and you should be ashamed of yourselves for not appreciating it. <laughs> Julian? Uh, tin Cup. <laughs> What's that? Christopher, Christopher Walken? Walken? Oh, fuck. Now it's a thing? <laughs> I like this twist in every answer has to be an impression yeah. of somebody who has nothing to do with that Kevin Costner movie. <laughs> <laughs> Open range. That was a great line. What was Liza that? Mrs. Doubtfire? What was that? <laughs> Mike, Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, 
Um, you're already out of them? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, you. I would, no, I, 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 you know, I'm sad for you. I wish, I wish that, that you could pull it together somehow, but it feels wrong. like for you there's no way out. Mm. Oh. No way out. Who is that? Who is it? Carol Channing. <laughs> I like how the people it's, we're it's doing actually, impressions of don't sound anything like each actually, other, and we still don't know who it is. When I thought that was pretty good, though. Looking back, Dan. Oh shit! That's just. Uh, Water world. Uh, that sounds like uh, if Sam Elliott like did a, a ad for a local water company. <laughs> Get we'll, your water. We'll keep your pipes hot uh, here at Water do World. The, 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 the prequel to Water World, Field of Dreams. All right. They're in the same Part timeline. of what you said is correct. Okay. I have one, but I don't know the name of it. Well, that's the game, Mark. <laughs> yeah, Mark, you go to your lifeline. Ron. Let's see what Ron has to say. Silverado. He says Silverado. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So you're going with Silverado? I'm going with Silverado. All right, that's correct. Thank you, Ron. Um, whenever I want to know what's playing in theaters, I don't necessarily buy my tickets through them, but I definitely go to their site to find out showtimes and stuff. <laughs> Fandango! <laughs> Costner was in a movie called Fandango. <laughs> Dan? The Postman. Mm -hmm. mm. That's right. Three hours, and you still don't you still don't get your package. <laughs> uh, for love of the game. Is that right? Yeah, no applause from the audience, but absolutely right. Mm -hmm. There was a chance there you probably thought, oh, maybe I said the wrong thing, but he's in that. I could be out here. No. Black and white. Yeah, we oh. got a guy over there that thinks he well, was in it. Who the fuck's that guy? That's Kevin Costner! <laughs> Kevin Costner, ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen, Shelley Long! Are you talking about Black and White, the movie that has the, your aforementioned uh, Mike Tyson in it? No. And Brooke Shields and a bunch of Is that the movie I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the movie I'm talking what's about. What's Black and White? What's that about? It's about this black guy. Uh-huh. He runs into a white guy. They hug, and the world's, world's beautiful. <laughs> And then that's they build a, a wall around. That's a feature. Like that. <laughs> Nobody that's can fuck a, with it. That's a full movie. So you just said an, a known expression and hoped no, that there was I, a title? I, I believe that there's a movie called Black and White and that he is in it. I think Tyra Banks is in it even, if that's possible. What, why are they in this movie? Oh, for money. What? I mean, they're the, like, they're the leads? Are yeah. You, are you, are you a racist man trying to describe the bodyguard? El Bondigos. <laughs> I think black oh, and white. You just gave one away? Oh, is that your guess? It might be. Oh. Oh. Now, I believe, does anybody agree besides this guy? Absolutely. Black or white is oh, what someone in the audience right. is saying. Do you want to cheat and accept that as your answer? Cheat. Probably, cheat, yeah. Cheat, cheat, yeah. Cheat, 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 cheat. Tear down. But you're right, you're right. He was, he was like the racist grandpa who had to come around by the end of the movie so everyone could feel good. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Black and honk. Right? He has like a black grandchild and he's like, he does, he's like kind of weird with her, but then he realizes that she's human. It's off-white, <laughs> off-white or beige is the movie I'm picking. Every day he gets up and he looks at her and he goes, black or white? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and black and, or blue? That's the title. Black, uh, black and blue. Stop it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with the bodyguard. El Bondigas. Mm -hmm. These drinks are good, dude. Uh, Dan? Shit. Bull Durham. Mm. Of course. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I mean, just think of a sport, and Kevin Costner made a s movie about it. I was going to say a stupid movie about it, but some of, some of them are good. No. Uh, one example would be... Don't. Uh, yeah, this one is like a, if, they, if, if a dad was a movie, uh, Draft Day. Yeah, Draft oh. Day. Mm. Sorry. <clears throat> it was really, really chilly... Day. Yeah. Black and white. 
<laughs> what if we did a movie called Black or White and Black and White mm-hmm. for two movies? Now there's a movie. See, I'm gonna give this away, but I know this movie, and I can I say a lot about it. And if it's close enough that they'll give it to me, I maybe say, even describing say, it, you'll stumble say, on the words. Okay, there's a, but then I'll give it away. But it's a director. It was directed by Clint Eastwood, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he was on the. It was like a road movie, mm-hmm. um, and he Kevin Costner's in it. Mm. How many how many miles did he have to go? Oh, 3,000 miles to Bakersfield. Oh. 3,000 miles to Harlem. 4,000 miles to shithole. Uh, black and white cookie. Black and white to 3,000. Uh, you're right, though. It is Graceland. 6,000, 3,000 miles to Graceland. That's correct. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Mark, I don't know if you should feel better or worse about this, but Doug never helps people this much. I know. Well, he knows I'm fucking... He looks down at me. I Doug know, told the guy looks at me and goes, don't smoke so much. I know you're not going to win. I'm not going to win. <laughs> so, so it's fun to keep you around. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm going to go all the way back to the very beginning. He was cut out of the movie except for his wrists and other body parts while they were uh, putting a suit on him to bury him in the beginning of The Big Chill. Oh. That was so oh, very wow. true. He was cut out of silver. Oh, no, he wasn't. Dan? Wyatt. Huh? Oh, yeah. What'd you say? Wyatt. 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 I thought I was like, Dan, it's your turn. You were like, what? Was it called Wyatt Earp or was it called Wyatt? It was just called Called Wyatt. Wyatt. Either way, I said Wyatt Hang on, you guys. I got one. I don't know why Mark gets to tell us what it was called. (laughs) Wyatt Earp, I believe, is the full. What's Uh, What's your answer, Dan? Wyatt Earp. Yes, that's good. There was a movie called Wyatt, too, though. Hey, thanks. Thank you and you and you. And thank you as well. Uh... The Untouchables. Oh, yeah, that's oh. a real good one. Mm-hmm. Man, my walking's just getting better and better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer. Okay, so Mark's out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people are good at this and some people aren't, you know? Mark is not a man of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Dan? Tony hit me. What? I'm going to my lifeline. Oh, brother. lifeline. Here we go. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, Robin thanks. Hood. Thank you. Prince of Thieves. Dave Chappelle. Wait, that was the Mel Brooks movie. <laughs> Robin Hood, Men in Tights. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, what do you think? You still got uh, your lifeline, right? When he, I saw my lifeline. Uh, when he co-starred with the greatest actor of our de- generation, Dane Cook, in Mr. Brooks. I like how Julian tends to throw in a false fact with a real fact. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there was a movie called Mr. Brooks. He was this, a serial killer. Yeah, he really fucking tore up some Frosted Flakes. But, but still a baseball player. <laughs> he was a... <laughs> A serial killer shortstop. I almost did a Foster Brooks reference, but I stopped myself. This is Kevin Costner being offered a movie role. Can I wear a uniform? (laughs) Can I drink my own urine? Oh, Waterworld. That's why it's called that. Oh, it's my turn, isn't it? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... We really have done a great job all these Costner movies, so I might might have to tap, but what are you looking for, Mark? Oh, you're listening? <laughs> My answer's going to be very exciting, and it is. We all know it, and we love it. <laughs> Justice League. Justice League. I don't know. I think he is. Clark Kent fa- flashback. Yeah, I think he's yeah. in that flashback. Yeah, I fucking did it, you guys. <laughs> uh, hidden figures. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, he's. I like, only remember the black ladies in that movie. Right. <laughs> black and um, white. <laughs> yeah. Um. I would go to my lifeline, but I don't need to. I can just go back. And to the left. Oh, shit! JFK! JFK! JFK. That was good, too. Okay, I like it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. There's a Pruder film. He goes back wow. and to the left because Kennedy's brain brains right. went back and to the left. Brains. Brains. Do that for like five more minutes while I think. Uh, what is your time it. limit on this? What's that? What is your time limit on our? Hey, if you gotta go, just There's go. There's no time limit. <laughs> no, but you gotta you gotta bring me on stage in three to thirty seconds. Um, I'm gonna yeah, in interest of time uh, and and the fact that I can't think of one right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap Dan. War. War. What is it good for? Uh, Absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna get a lifeline. You don't get a lifeline. It's just war, Dan. Oh, the war. <laughs> good job, Shaft. Julian. Uh, and yeah, I don't get a lifeline. That's how good I am. But I'm out. Uh, okay. Um, oh, right? Oh, shit. Stan, I gotta use you, buddy. Here we go. Huh? Criminal. 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 I'm gonna go with Criminal, the movie I was gonna think of. Yeah, I don't, I don't know We gotta that look movie. that. Does anybody have that? Nobody needs to. Dan? I, I, okay. I got one now. Thank you, Stan. What do you mean you've got one now? What is happening on your phone, sir? <laughs> His oh, ringtone. I tone. swear his phone was somebody screaming, Think of your son! Think of your son! <laughs> no, the ringtone is Pick Up Your Phone. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, it's Eddie Pepitone saying that? Uh, Pick up your phone! <laughs> I love it. All right, Dan. Uh, Take fuck. this thing home, buddy. I don't know that I can, my friend. What? You're going to let Julian have this? Yeah, probably. Uh, well, really, Stan won. Mm hmm. When you really think about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to murder you. And I hope I get your cell in prison. I hope I get where you formerly stayed. <laughs> There's a part of me that feels like he's in a thin red line because everybody was. Mm, um, that part of you is wrong. Uh, is this movie called... Like, I remember the movie. I'm not sure about the title. But is the movie called... Uh, Three Days to Kill? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's not to a kill. That's, James Bond was viewed to a kill. Kevin Costner was Three Days to Kill. It's but it's a, you know, it's a fun expression because it sounds like he's just got time on his hands, but no, he's going to murder people for three days. We interrupted that together. Oh, that's right. We barely remembered it. Julian? The one where he has oh, yes. sex with the mom and the daughter. Oh, right. Uh, I think the same director of Black and White, I think, is, <laughs> I, or White, yeah. I, I, I think he's worked with that this guy a couple isn't of it. times. This isn't it, but for some reason it's popping into my head. Give it's, it a try. Something's Gotta Give? No. Uh, that's Jack Nicholson. Dan is our winner! Yay! Sorry, Stan! Yay! That is how you... And, uh, well, I wasn't going to do that. That so. movie, the movie you he every, won, every guest on my show has a chant that the audience knows when, they, when they win. Oh. <laughs> What's the fucking movie I'm Yeah, what is of? that one? Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Has oh. It. But there was another one from the same director as Black or White. It was called The Shape of Things or The Object of Something or The Law of He wasn't something. in The Shape of Things. It was like, no, I know. But I mean, it was that kind of expression uh, yeah. that you later have a trouble remembering because it's so vague. White or Black. No. no it also, was he in Mystery Men? I don't think so. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, who were you playing for again, Dan? Tony. Hey, you got all the prizes. Hey. <laughs> Just come on up and uh, and grab them. She's already downloaded the app already, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. She's the one that knows about the app for the ring. It's fucking perfect. Yeah. It'd be a I, hassle for anybody I else, but you're 13, the perfect though. winner. Plus, you got all those comedy seller bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yes, come back tonight. That's, yeah, nobody's Hell drunk. Yeah. Nobody's drunk I or stoned tonight. Tony. No. <laughs> nobody's drunk or stoned tonight. Yeah, we should say it's Mark and Julian and Tracy Skeen and Rich Voss and uh, Leo Flowers. And Pat One more? Sean Patton. Oh, Sean Patton. Wow, okay. We yeah. should, I should have had him on today. So uh, let's do some plugs. He's a great host. What do you mean? <laughs> you said you should have had him on today. I said he's a good host. 
Yeah, and then I said, what do you mean? And then I said. You just keep saying, <laughs> hey, Mark, keep saying what you Mark, said rather than what you I'm mean. Mark, <laughs> Mark, that was one of the ones you should have tested out before. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan Van Kirk, what do you got to plug? I will be junior grand marshalling the Galveston, Texas Mardi Gras parade along with Rory Scovel. We are going to the debutante ball. We are wearing tuxes all weekend, and we are doing a, our first ever live podcast of Pen Pals in Houston, Texas at The Secret Group. That is going to be on March 3rd. That's when the Pen Pals is. So come out, hang out with us, come to the very first ever live show. And then the next night, I'll be at the Largo doing a live Dumb People Town with the Sklar Brothers. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and lastly, just so I forget, um, in the middle of March, I will be coming to, it looks like, Huntsville, Atlanta, Nashville, and a few other cities as well. So be on the lookout for that. Just go to danielvankirk.com for all of my live shows, stand-up, and podcasts. Thank Yay! you very much. Yay! What about you, Julian McCullough? What's uh, coming up? Uh, uh, February 15th and 16th, I'll be at Comedy on State in Madison, Wisconsin. It's hell yeah. And then are. the following week, I'll be doing the Aspen Wheeler Comedy Festival in Aspen and listen to my podcast, The Soft Spot, with Meg Malloy, where we talk about people's favorite nostalgic thing. Oh, I thought you just talk about babies' heads. <laughs> <laughs> you mean where their brains are? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Cohen, you can comedy see him seller, here at the seller, Comedy Cellar every <laughs> fucking night. Seven days a week. Seven days a week here at the cellar. When do you and and what, what what dispensary can we find you at? MMJ, <laughs> Apothecary, <laughs> Essence, and the Source. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I uh, think I have one more plug I want to throw at you guys. Oh, it turns out, I'd, oh yeah, stand-up uh, comedy in Tampa at the Improv on February 28th. And uh, bring your name tags, though, because we'll play a little game of audience, Last Man Stanton, where they, where, where they can't go to the audience for a lifeline, because they are the audience. Oh, man. And they're playing the game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. They should be a little gold bloom, little gold bloom. Huh? Oh, what? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, <laughs> thank you to the Comedy Cellar here at the Rio in Las Vegas for having us. Hell thank yeah. you guys for coming in on a lovely Sunday afternoon. One more time for all of my guests Dan Van Kirk, Julian McCullough, and Mark Cohen. And as always, uh, Buzzkills. Buzzkills are a shithead. Mm, yeah, that's, a, that's more of a thinker. And this one's really... It's a little political. Strong statement. Yeah. Anyone with a MAGA hat, I don't give a fuck why. <laughs> don't give a why fuck, you have it. I don't give a fuck why you have it. Like, he, if you have it ironically, fuck you as well. You're still... What are you if you're wearing a MAGA hat? A shithead. Oh. Mark, that's not how this works. Oh. You're not supposed to jump in. Oh, really? I'm, you're, right you're supposed to keep your glasses off. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> Anyone who wears a bag hat is a shithead. End theme, please. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold, his viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room.